Hi guys, have you ever had trouble in using the quick toolbar in stick notes or weren't sure what all those buttons do? In this tutorial, I'll clearly explain how the dog quick toolbar works and how you can use it to make your animation process faster and easier. Let's get started. Alright, so we can use this tool while working with stick figures, movie clips, sprite, text and even camera. If it's not enabled for you, just go to sidebar and just click this button. Ok, to activate the QT bar, touch your stick figure. For now, we have only selected the main node. This changes the property of the entire stick figure. Let's go from top to bottom. First, we have the layering buttons, which lets you move your stick up and down, like seen in this example. Next, with these three buttons, you can copy, paste, and delete your stick figures. Simple. Moving down, you can flip your stickman horizontally or vertically. This button here lets you change the color of the entire stick figure. Next, you can adjust the scale and rotation. This one allows you to move your stick figure horizontally or vertically. And this last button here lets you join your stick figure with another nodes. Like this. Now let's select an individual segment. You'll see few more tools appear. Let's go from bottom this time. This button lets you make your segment stretchable and you can also adjust its length by dragging it. Next you can adjust the thickness and scale of the segment. This one allows you to move your segment horizontally or vertically. But remember, the node must be stretchable. And this button here allows you to lock your node in one place. You can move the other nodes but not this one anymore. The join button does the same thing, it joins the entire stick figure to the another node. Now you'll see two color buttons here. The ones that's currently active lets you give the segment a different color from the rest of the stick figure. Like in this case, right? If you disable it, it will be the default color of a stick figure. The other color button lets you create gradients. And you can even adjust the direction of the gradients using these buttons. Up here we have flipping options. And this little button allows you to add curves to your segments. Finally, pressing this button returns to your main node. This is super useful if your stick figure has lots of nodes. Ok, you can also find QT bar in movie clips, but only with basics option that we discussed earlier. For sprites, we have two special buttons. The anchor switch. If this is disabled, the sprite will rotate around its main node. But if you enable it, the anchor point moves to the opposite end, changing how it rotates. Like this one. The log ratio button. When disabled, you can distort your sprite while scaling. And when enabled, the proportions stays locked. No more stressed sprites. You also have QT bar in text editor. There are four dedicated buttons here. Text color, text shadow, opacity, and alignment. Lastly, you can use QT bar in camera mode as well. Here you can copy and paste the camera, adjust the scale and rotation, and even switch between different camera modes, which is pretty cool. I hope you find this video useful, and if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. Subscribe and share this video to your friends, and have a nice day. Peace.